Face off one in the offensive zone by the flame shot. Just turned aside by Kozen. Kukali dumps it in behind his own net. Thompson will look to start the blaze up by stretch pass intended for Luciani. Takes it onside. They've got a turn one down. Blaze have the big chance as the stick is taken away of Curran by Ben O'Connor. Nice little bit of stick work from the seasoned veteran. So the Blaze will throw a puck towards the net, bounces off Kirk up. He's trying to regain it for the Coventry Blaze, which they have done now via Thompson. Nice pass into the corner. He'll go and follow it, Blake Thompson. Leads the Blaze in average ice time, block shots, and a bunch of other categories as Kirkup's going to circle to the top of the wing. He fires, that takes a tip over into the netting, and will have a stoppage with more, uh, more or less three minutes having gone here in the first period. Pass from the point. Blaze, top of the circle, shot comes in. Mitch Cook was trying to throw one towards the net, but again, I don't think it got through to um, Berman between the pipes. Something that the Manchester Storm did very well on Wednesday was uh, get in front of the shots. You know, they had a lot of block shots on that game, spread throughout the lineup, and you know, even guys like young Bobby Chamberlain making a you know a bit of a uh, uh, a bit of a matinee performance. Doesn't spend a lot of time uh, with Manchester as part of that two-way, but you know everybody buying into what Matt Ginn's doing there. And was ultimately a big part of their success as a shot comes in, patted away by Coase, there's a rebound, they score! Ouellette through the five hole, the puck spilled out in front, and the Guildford Flames get their first of the night. Nick Ouellette's first goal for the Guildford Flames, and the visitors are on the board. Yeah, we... no, just a nice rebound play there, Ouellette picks it up, just to go straight for the five hole there on Coase, and he can't shut the door quick enough, the Blaze can't react quick enough to clear that second puck. And the Guildford Flames getting in the back of the net. Looking on the near side boards with Hughes. Six goals in his last five games, as we mentioned earlier. The graduate of the University of Alberta is Cozen. Oh, he has one bobble off his stick. He's going to end up eating one here. But, oh, that was a nervy moment for the Coventry Blazers. Let's take a look at this one again. He goes to try and play it out in front. It jumped right off his stick. There was a little bit of a melee for it. There's a couple of Flames are in there trying to pick up the second puck. But... He's cleared off the line, and then he ends up grabbing it against the side of his net. Ooh, that was a bit of a nervy one. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, I think the, you're absolutely right. I think the only big mistake that he's made that led to a goal was uh, behind his own net down at the open end uh, a few weeks ago. But either way, the commentary players are going to get a 2-1-0 here. Hopkins, he's got some support. Shoots himself and scores. Hopkins ties it up. A wonderful individual effort from the youngster. Losing confidence on the 2 on 0 he could have squared it, he went himself, he buried it, and that's a big, big goal for Coventry. Huge goal for Jack Hopkins, and what confidence he has. He could have passed it across, he's got Tim Kim Talberg there, seasoned veteran, good goal scorer, but he backs himself, takes the shot, goes to the left pad of Taz Berman and puts it into the back of the net. Great yeah. finish. Great finish. Brady Norris in the corner is going to try and scoop this one up the wing. He does to Christo. Christo, oh, that's a great pass. That's a 2 on one for the Blaze. McNulty down low, he scores. The Blaze have two in quick succession. And a wonderful finish in transition from Ian McNulty. Again, similar to the Hopkins goal. He had Roth on his wing. He backed himself. And that's why he's the Coventry Blaze top point scorer still. What a great finish. What a great finish. But what a pass from Danny Christo. Crossed the ice all the way right into the stride of Ian McNulty. Like you say, he backs himself, but that's a fantastic play from the back end from Christo. As Berman makes another stop as the Blaze clear a puck on him. Talberg there for it, and he, oh, he tried to send it back to the defence, but it comes off the linesman, that helps the Flames. They might have a chance with O'Connor, he scores! And the dying embers of the power play, the Guildford Flames in transition, able to tie it up. What a hockey game we've got on our hands here, Stu. Yeah. Kim Talberg tries to send it down, but it gets picked off there. So the, the Flames come very quickly, and they find Ben O'Connor on the overlap. And then that left shot goes high glove side and gets it in the back of the net, two apiece. Yeah. Lewis Hook spinning around. Nice hard pass for Tugner, but the Blaze have taken it away. Kirkup did have the option of uh, Curran, but they both had their backs turned to each other. But made a hard fought pass. Here is Kirkup, though. He's got some speed. Shoot shorts. Ooh. Shot far side high, shrugged away by Berman. And that pass is going to get through for a breakaway. Big chance for the Flames. Big save by Cozen. The Flames, I think, made a big save through Berman. Goes straight up ice through Ripplinger, and it's a good save. As another stop by Cozen again. End to end by both of these two teams. Very much playing playoff hockey. 
It's James Shearer mopping up in his own zone. Hard pass for Kirkup. Kirkup can take it cleanly. The Guildford Flames will come in on side, but Lewis Hook and Peter Cronella have kind of bumped each other. And Luciani to Hyman. He's got a breakaway. He catches them on a change and he scores. Luciani sneaks in behind, catching the Flames on a bad change. And the Blaze have got their lead back. Alessio Luciani, two goals in two nights this weekend, and this one's a beauty, Stu. Yeah, nice pass there, Alessio Luciani hanging high, caught them on the change, plays transitioning from defence to offence excellently, two quick passes from their zone to the Guildford zone, and that shot goes past Taz Berman and puts the Blaze back in the lead. Hughes will pull up. Looks at the target, but gets accosted by a tired-looking Chase Harchie. He gets back to his spot on the left side of defence as Hughes will walk into the hash mark. Shoot short side, it blocked on the way through. Eventually picked off the pads of Cozen and back to the point. Teasing with a one-timer that ends up being blocked on the way through. Huge block by Kobe Roth. That one's going to leave a mark as McNulty fighting for it. Blake's really need to stop here. <clears throat> Christo sending that one softly out will get just that. Big blocks by Ripplinger and Roth on that shift, but now the Flames are coming the other way, Stu. Chance down now, Alvaro on the drop, oh, they hit the bar! A snappy release, I think, from Tate. Clangs off the iron. As the uh, defensive zone draw won by the Flames, they'll charge their way out. Buck sent, oh, into the defensive zone as Blake Thompson will stack it. And Danny Cristo just able to swoop in and help out the defenseman. He finds Kobe Roth via the boards. McNulty in a foot race with Klimic. And two colleagues will, or former colleagues, will collide in the backboards. Blaze open it out into open ice. Clemens fires just wide with a wrister. Didn't miss by much. Danny Christo will pick this up now. Opens up some space with Kobe Roth. Still with Christo. Circling the offensive zone. Throws one to the net. Now it's tipped in front. Oh, a turn and fire by McNulty. The Blaze. Still have the puck in the offensive zone. Here's Harchie now. Harchie might drive himself here. Great way from Harchie to the back door. It bobbled on Roth. Off a piece of the defenseman, I think, as Chase Harchie went to work and wasn't rewarded with anything. His first pro point. But a confident play by the first year pro. Ryan Tate ends up held down into the boards. Lalonde over to the far wing. He's going to dig it out of the place. Might get a chance here. Spellacy on the loose puck. Goes in. Scores! Aiden Spellacy gives the Blaze a fourth. His third of the regular season. He had a big night in Cardiff last night and that's a big goal here at the Skydome Marina, Stu. Another turnover in the neutral zone for the Blaze. Aiden Spellacy jumps right on it and just comes in with speed. Shoots high. Fantastic finish from the number eight and gets the Blaze a two-goal advantage in the second period. 25 seconds to go after the second period. Blaze four, Flames two. <coughs> Guildford probably have one last little 4A up ice. And goodness, if they were able to end the period on a high with a goal, that really does make things interesting to start. The period is a big opportunity off the backboards. Tugner is rolled by Cozen. Let's take a look at this one again. It was a almost a Hail Mary play off the backboard, Stu, with a heavy dump. And Tugner read it well, but so did Taron Cozen off the shooter's stick. This is a massive save. Massive save from Taron Cozen. Biggest one of the night so far for him. Um, with the, the one-timer just getting there on the glove. Fantastic stop. A heck of the flames, Tugnut. Floats one on the pads of Cozen. It comes out in front and, oh, they hack at it and Cozen makes a save from Cronella. Really similar to the uh, Flames' first goal. A bit of a muffin on the net. Cozen with a puck on its side. Couldn't scoop the rebound to the perimeter, Stu. And in was Peter Cronella this time. He just couldn't find the twine. From the Flames across the line with some speed. Tate drops it towards the net. It's pushed wide. There is a Guildford Flame in the net. Cozen makes a stick save and hangs onto the loose puck. It really is a gargantuan effort here from the Guildford Flames, putting all their eggs in the offensive basket. But the Coventry Blazers and Taron Cozen keep saying no. That's right. Oh, Talbot will stand over this one. Did uh, have a cameo with the Coventry Blazers uh, last year, as well as a Solid season in Milton Keynes, 39 goals, 45 assists. I mean, it's pretty good going. Well, that is a league where 
You know, your good players. The point of those was a mistake. Curran in and a big glove save by Berman. Oh, a huge mistake from the Flames defenseman. Johnny Curran in on goal. Might well have sealed it for the Blaze here. Let's take another look. Uh, Johnny Curran gets a fantastic opportunity, picks the pass off, gets a shot. What a glove save from Taz Berman. Standing up there, giving the Guildford Flames a chance to win. Hasn't been called on much in this third period, but makes a big save there. Cook. Hopkins in pursuit. Oh, Hopkins might pick this up here. Down on his knees. He has options. Dangles it down for a big chance. Big play. And Aiden Spellacy had the puck sit up on him. I think he hit the edge of the puck. That's all he could do, and well, with the net gaping, that could have been a multi-point night for Jack Hopkins, and could have been the fifth goal for the Coventry Blaze. It was a lovely bit of hockey in transition from the hosts. Oh, and that would have been a massive moment in the Skydome this regular season. What was that, loose puck? So now there's a big chance, Talbot, he scores! It's a Blaze mistake, and a Flames goal! The puck turned over along the Blazers' own goal line. They were able to send it out in front. It's Lewis Hook, excuse me, with the final touch. And the Guildford Flames are now within one. Yeah, puck comes in to Lewis Hook. He's not going to make any mistake from there. That's his 17th of the season. Gets it up and over Taron Cozen and draws us back to a one-goal game with 6.32 left on the clock here in the Sky Dome. Yeah. Here's Hughes. They already have one power play goal tonight, the Flames, of course, don't forget. Ben O'Connor. Way back in the first, Lalonde. Back to Ben O'Connor. Lalonde, one-timer. Oh, there's a rebound out in front, and it's just wide of the target. Might have taken a piece of coast and all the post on the way through. The Blaze had a man mobbed down to the ice at the entirety of the Sky, more or less the entirety of the Sky Dome, calling for a penalty. The Blaze have got a high man. It's a breakaway. Luciani in on goal. Deeks, good save by Berman. Luciani still got it. He slammed into the backboards. Oh, that would have been immense if Luciani was able to score on the breakaway. Two and a little bit of change to go in regulation. The final regular season game of the year here at the Sky Dome. And the Blaze fans in the building willing Coventry to the finish line with the score intact. Hughes gets checked by Kukali as he dumps it in. Alvaro grabbed onto by McNulty. Kukali via the glass. Comes out for Tate with some speed. They pull the netminder Berman heading to the bench. There's a loose puck out in front. Kukali, oh, it's a big kick saved by Cozen. Christo diving at the loose puck. Here's Hughes, he's gonna flick one on the glove of Cozen. He hangs on and, well, as he came out to sort of protect the puck and himself as the Flames are coming and ended up inadvertently running into a Guildford Flames forward. 1.26 on the clock. And the Guildford Flames look like they're gonna go six on five here, Stu. Here's O'Connor at the half wall. Hughes through a crowd, comes out the other way. Norrish flings himself at it. Chips the puck out, 20 seconds to go. The Guildford Flames might mount one last foray into the offensive zone. It's a chip and a chase. The Blaze don't get the clearance they wanted. It'll be batted out the air. Talberg will be whistled down for a hand pass, even though he had the empty net. I don't think he heard it over the roar of the Skydome Arena. And well, the Guildford Flames defenseman furious with him for shooting at the empty net. Kobe Roth, meanwhile, is tied up with Ryan Hughes. Well, they're gonna fight. Hughes has got his gloves off. Oh, violent end to the regular season here at the Skydome. Kobe Roth and Ryan Hughes still all tied up with each other. Tempers flaring. With only a couple of seconds on the clock here in the building, the Coventry Blaze are going to get to the postseason. And Kobe Roth is going to get a sent to the dressing room, but to a hero's departure. Ryan Hughes, a little bit less so from the Blaze bench and the Blaze fans. But what an exciting game of hockey this has been, Stu. Drama at every twist and turn. Ben O'Connor's uh, a little bit cross with uh, whatever should or shouldn't be on the clock. But Tom Perring is just telling everybody to get on with it. The Guildford Flames want more time added on. They're not getting it. 
And a face-off win will come from the Coventry Blaze. And a win means they're in the postseason. It wouldn't have mattered what happened elsewhere with the result. A big victory. A four-point weekend. And a Coventry Blaze, after a poor run of form, have pulled it out of the bag big time. Yeah, absolutely. When they needed it, they will be finishing sixth in the table and it will be the Belfast Giants in the quarterfinal against the Coventry Blaze. It was Blaze head coach Danny Stewart after the home win against the Guildford Flames to clinch the playoffs in sixth place. Um, Danny, you must be thrilled with the result and the effort from the boys in that game. Yeah, I mean, that's an understatement. I mean, going into this weekend, you know, it was, was going to be an uphill battle and we knew that and... Uh, I'd like to say here and say it was never in doubt, but uh, man, it was a stressful time. But uh, I, I got to give full credit to the guys, man. They they dug in. Last night's performance was not just this team's best performance of the year, but one of our better performances as an organization in the past several years. And um, and then came back tonight. I thought at times tonight we maybe looked a little bit fatigued, um, but we did a good job kind of minimizing those second chances from, from Guilford. They're a good, fast team. And um, had a lot of energy tonight, and uh, but you know I think the most important thing was was our not only our commitment, but uh, you know scoring some goals. You know getting nine this weekend. You know obviously kind of released a little bit of pre pressure on the D and, and and cozy as well. And you know but at the same time they were phenomenal as well. So you just through through on through through every individual we were just phenomenal this weekend. And it was some timely goals tonight as well, wasn't it? All in similar circumstances, jumping on Guildford Flames mistakes, being hungry for those pucks. That's something you always want from your teams. Yeah, I know, for sure. For sure. And, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta, you got to capitalise when other teams make mistakes. And that's something maybe the last several weeks we haven't been able to do. But, you know, <laughs> better late than never, right? Better late than never. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad for the guys. I'm glad for the organisation. Uh, I'm glad for, the, glad for the fan base that, you know, we found a way. And I mean, just describe the feeling in the room. I was sat outside waiting for you to come out, and you could just hear the noise through the walls. It was impressive. Yeah, I mean, they're 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 pumped. They're pumped, but at the same time, I think there's a little bit of relief in there. I know me personally, there's a, the big sign of relief, and you know that that doesn't mean by any means that we're going to be satisfied with what what, what we've done. Um, obviously, you know, we'll get some rest here in the next couple of days and enjoy the win, but uh, you know, quickly turn our attention to the Belfast Giants. And the, the, the weekend and the good hockey that we've been playing, the good results that we've had, it's built a little bit of momentum at a good time coming into the weekend against the Giants. And we played them in a short form tournament before and had some success this yeah, season. Yeah, listen, you get in, once you get in, anything's possible. Um, but yeah, I think through this weekend, hopefully that'll give us a little bit better belief than we've had the last few weeks and create that confidence going into, you know, a, a tough building and against a tough team.